Welcome back fam, it's your girl Jess and today's video is my 10 minute makeup look and to also make this more like real, I'm gonna put a timer when I start. I'm not started yet, I haven't started yet, don't time me yet, okay? Um, but I also want to incorporate my skin prep um, for my 10 minute makeup look. So usually in the morning I will use my BHA, AHA um, Polish Choice around my nose and then I'll put my serum and my sunscreen. Um, I've done that already in the morning. Although usually when I'm getting ready, I don't, I don't tend to do that. And that's just the honest truth. I usually just put the BHA, AHA and then I'll go in with my eye serum. Then I'll put my sunscreen and I'll go straight into my makeup because I personally like when the stuff that I put on my skin settles and I don't really feel like I have the time, especially when I have to get up at 5 a.m. So I'll be up about four. I don't want to spend like an hour doing my makeup because I don't think it's that necessary. To be honest, day to day, I don't even really wear makeup. I usually just put my tinted, um, tinted sunscreen. If you haven't watched that video that I just posted about my no makeup makeup look, um, I will tag it up here. It is very good for your skin in my opinion and it doesn't cause any breakouts and you look like you're just glowing and you're radiant and that is the vibe that we're always going for but when i have a bit more time and i have like a shoot that i want to look a bit schnizzle for <laughs> or if i want to go out and i don't want to fully put on so much makeup but i want to look cute this is the kind of makeup look i do um i just also want to say this is the part one now the reason why i'm doing it in two parts is because i personally think i don't have look i have a weird breakout right there on my lip i don't know why and I have one there and this one, I hope to God it doesn't scar, but it was huge. And when I was washing my face, it popped by itself and I was like, no, no, no. So that's like my situation. But overall, I think I do have pretty good. Oh my God, I'm getting another pimple right there. Why? So um, I do think I have pretty good skin. Um, although my sister has a bit more scarring, a bit more like dead pimples or like dried out acne if that's a thing so i want to do part two on her and show you how i'll also get her makeup done in 10 minutes i would let her do it herself but she she doesn't really do that so i want to do it for you and for her and show you that even if you do have a bit more problematic skin you don't need all this excessive makeup and you don't need to do all these things like you can still do basically what i do a bit more differently though um and look amazing i mean we are amazing without makeup but let's just be real with makeup we are like we have a whole different attitude <laughs> so let's get to the video i'm gonna time myself because i'm gonna put the timer up here but i also want to put a timer to make sure that we are on the ball and we're gonna start okay we've got 10 minutes so i'm not freaking out that much so the first thing i'm going in with is my la roche sunscreen this is uva and uvb protected i always put a sunscreen on in the morning I don't care what the weather is and if you know me, you know me and you know that it's something that I always practice and preach. Okay guys, my camera just died so I had to just quickly put the timer back on. I paused it, um, but it's back. It's, it's, it's gone. So I am just applying my La Roche sunscreen. This is 50 plus and I apply it under my eyes too. Um, it's UVA and UVB protected. So if you know me, I always apply sunscreen Every single day. I don't care what the weather is as soon as I wake up That's the first thing I do and if I'm at home the whole day I'll reapply it throughout the day about three to four times. So sunscreens on Next I also like to apply a Concentrate I concentrate rather than a cream like I said um, when I'm on the go Come on we don't have all day, we have 10 minutes. <laughs> when I'm on the go, I like to apply kind of what I know I need. It, on another, like if it was just like I wanted to do a full glam, I would apply an hydrating eye cream, maybe like the Bobbi Brown one or the other one I used in my video. And then I would wait a bit and I'd apply this. So for this case, I mean, in this case, I'm just applying the concentrate. And I'm gonna let that do its job. I'm going in with Kells Ultra Face Moisturizer. Just get that out. You don't have to use this moisturizer. I also use um, the Welder Moisturizer. I use 
oh, I forgot the name of the other one that I use, but I use a few. It just depends on kind of what's in front of me. And um, I love that I'm using the one that's almost empty when we don't have time. So I didn't use that one because it was taking way too long. I'm going in with the Welder Light Skin Food. This is also amazing. It's super hydrating. I personally like to take a lot because I'm not gonna be applying any foundation. I'm only gonna apply concealer because that's just what I do. <laughs> so, and it smells incredible. I always get my neck. If my neck's showing, I'll do that as well. And then I'll just do my forehead. A weird random tip, but it's like a full thing. So don't put any cream around your actual um, eyebrows. Checking on the time. Oh my God, we've got six minutes. Um, yeah, don't put any cream around your eyebrows because it will actually... Um, it will go bad, if that means. it won't go bad, sorry. It will just, it like, it makes your hairs actually fall out. Now I'm putting on some purple. So I put the, on, I put it, I can't speak English. I put it on the back of my hand, my finger, sorry. And I just go, and I like to put a lot of this on. So this is my Holy Grail. Um, as you can see, I've gone through like four of these. This is the Tarte, oh shit, that's a lot. The Tarte Magiscure Creases Concealer. This is the same tone as my skin because I'm not using foundation. Should have got my brushes ready. I did not think this far ahead. Silly me. So I'm just putting a bit under my eyes, the tip of my nose. And just like that, up here, a bit there. A bit on my chin, a bit, and I like do a like a little moustache. I like to also get those beautiful little pimples that I have, and I usually always go like under. I don't, and I just go in with like a fluffy brush. This is just from Zueva, and I start blending. And I usually blend my eyes last. The reason I do that is because I kind of want the concealer to settle before I. Go in and blend that, if that makes any sense to you. It looks crazy now, but I promise you when the blush goes on, you'll be like, oh, I see. Very kind of lightly. I don't like to put a lot on my forehead, I don't think. She needs it that much. I always like to go around my nostrils because I feel like they get super red. And then I just... Pat that down. Then I do the other eye. So I usually like to put more on the outer corners and I know it's weird, but I already have like discoloration on my actual eyelid. So I like to use that as an eyeshadow. <laughs> Like, doesn't it look like I have eyeshadow, but it's literally just my discoloration. So then I take a more dense brush and I just very lightly pat that all in. Blend the sides. So now I'm taking my Laura Mercier powder and I take the slightest amount and I just dab that under my eyes. And then whatever's left, I just kind of put that on my nose and on my forehead. So now I let that kind of do its thing. I take a flat brush and I'm going with this um, Vise Art palette and I take this deep brown shade and I just very lightly on the edge, edge, on the edge of my eye, I kind of just color that in and just do a very little wing. If you haven't watched my wing eyeliner video, I will link it at the top for you. Then I use my finger to just, it's very light, but I feel like it just gives you the best kind of look. It elongates your eye without making it look like you even did anything. 
And plus, when you're on the go, then I'm going in with this Climax NARS Concealer. I don't usually curl my lashes because um, they are quite long. I always say that, but ever since I've been using the Lash Envy, my lashes have just boomed. Go in. So I don't really like to go crazy. I just kind of go quite messy because I don't, they're not that long. So when they clump together, it looks a bit better for me. Okay, so that's on. And now I'm using, this is um, the Stila 60 Watts. Um, it's a powder foundation. And I like to just take the back of the sponge that it comes with. And I just very lightly go under my eyes and on my nose, around there. Now I'm taking the nude stick in Bear With Me. I love this shade. It's such a universal shade and it just makes you look really glowy and radiant without being too crazy. And I always put everything on the back of my hand. Then I have like a sponge and I just kind of like... I'll wipe it off in the car <laughs> and I'm just kind of very lightly going in circular motions and up and down because I want it to look like I have something on but I don't want it to look like I have something on if that makes any sense a bit on my nose and then my chin and I just go back in and I just pounce that in so I just, I leave my brows the way they are. I just brush them up. I just usually put some spray on them, like hairspray. Oh, I'll use the soap, brow soap, but lately I've just been brushing them up and they kind of just stay there. Um, last but not least, I'm doing my lips and I'm using Spice. I like to leave the um, purple on. And I just like fill it in. Overline a little bit. And then I usually like get my finger and like dab that. Now because I have a bit of time, I'm just gonna use the MAC Dark Deep. I don't always do this step, but if I want to add a bit more color to my skin. There we go. I just put a little bit. All right, my loves, this is literally the final result. Let me turn off because I repeated it. We don't want to repeat it. We did it. Um, and then I'll like just go in and spray my face. I don't always spray my face. I feel like with this look, I wouldn't because I put the powder on and the concealer. Um, and the thing is with this concealer, I don't always set it as well because it is like I like I tried once setting it with one eye and then not setting it with the other eye and it didn't really make that much of a difference so i was kind of like i don't have time to set you baby i will just put the powder foundation on top and it just does the trick so this is the final result it's my quick 10 minute makeup look without foundation um i know it's i don't know i just don't always need to feel i, I don't feel the need to always wear foundation and like it doesn't look crazy with my neck because we didn't go too crazy so this is kind of what i do on a day-to-day -day basis literally um unless i'm going somewhere fancy i wear foundation otherwise i don't really wear it i don't know i don't i don't think you need to and that's why part two is coming because i want to show you guys that you don't need to wear foundation as well if you do have problematic skin it's not a necessity i do understand that it does make you feel a bit better but i just kind of like i'm lazy i just think oh my god it's gonna take me longer to take this off and I'm trying to not like kill my skin too much, but I don't know. I don't know. It's just a weird logic thing for me that I just wear concealer. And I love that Tarte one because it's basically the same shade and it does, it does the job. So 
my English is slurring everywhere. So I hope you understood anything that I just said. <laughs> but I really hope you guys like this look. Um, I do change up the lip from time to time. I personally like using a lip liner because I like to overline my lips. I don't think my lips are that big. Um, I wanted to get fillers done, but a lot of people were like, no, 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 don't. And the doctor that I went and saw to do my lip filler, he actually said no. Was so rude, but I actually appreciated his honesty and I was like, you know what, fine. I won't do it, so I didn't end up doing it. But yeah, this is the final result. Thank you so much for watching my little lovely sugar plums. Like I said before, if you haven't watched my previous video about my no makeup makeup look, check that out. I will list it up here. I also have my eyeliner look that I did. This is just really easy to do. If anyone can do eyeliner with a shadow. I feel like it's super easy. Um, and it just, I personally like using a brown when I'm like in a rush or anything. I just feel like it gives you a bit more like of an oomph. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching. I love you so much, my beautiful queens. And I'll see you in my next video. Mwah. Bye.